What is it? <laughs> I don't know, Doctor. It just arrived for you. It's making funny noises. Extraordinary thing. Aye. It's from Tibet. It's probably that uh, pink sea snail you was looking for. No, it's not big enough for that. What do you suppose it is? Well, we could always open it and find out. Oh, yes, what a good idea. Ah. Oh, look, it's a llama. Come, boy, come, boy. I think he's nervous. Open up the other end and give him a push, Matthew. Yeah. <laughs> There's another one at this end. There's two of them. Two llamas? How thoughtful of somebody. Really, people are awfully nice. What are you going to do with them? Well, we could make ourselves a couple of nice overcoats for a start. Come on, boy. Come on, boy. This way, lad. Come on. Come on. That's a good fella. <laughs> I don't believe it. It can't be. It is. It is. What? 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 It's a push me, pull you. Look. <laughs> Holy O'Reilly, forgive me. I'll never touch another drop. See, I'm in fact the other end. They're very timid. This is without doubt the first one's ever been captured. <laughs> if I had a head at each end, I'd take a bit of catching too. <laughs> What's he saying, Doctor? It's rather difficult to understand. It's a camel's dialect with rather a thick accent. <laughs> a message? Oh, a message for me. Is this it? Ah, yes, it's from Long Arrow, I should have guessed. Who's he when he's at home? The greatest naturalist in the world and a very old friend. He's a Red Indian gentleman. Oh, with a name like Long Arrow, I didn't think he was Irish. What's all them drawings, Doctor? Picture writing is the only way we can communicate. You see, this means a push pull is a gift. The open hand, you see? For me, that's me. From his friend, Long Arrow. To make money, to take a ship, to search for the great pink sea snail. Signed... Long Arrow. Oh, that's marvellous. But tell me, Doctor, how do you make money with a, a push-me-pull you? I thought it's obvious. Stubbins, what would you do if you had two heads? I'd join a circus, sir. Exactly.